this trip out. Uh, my objective is basically just to kind of get the folks familiar with who we are, what we are, what we're doing. Okay, we're 70 cents a gallon, Victor's out of Sam's sort of, I'm out of Pensacola, as he was saying. Uh, ex Navy, a few jets from Virgin Gulf War. Matter of fact, my roommate is one who landed President Bush on the Lincoln in 2003. Uh, and that's anything the fan can say I touched him. <laughs> that's about it. Where we're going and uh, what basically our goals and objectives are going to be. We are a biodiesel manufacturing equipment solution provider, okay? Also, algae production systems, anything from uh, small algae production systems to, to uh, potentially huge commercialization systems. We're also going to be able to provide feedstocks, anywhere from uh, yellow grease, palm oil, canola oil, uh, and uh, we also are a provider of this uh, fuel and engine conditioner called Force for Earth, and of course, for project managers. We want to be the premier solution provider of biodiesel fuel and algae production processing equipment for the state of Florida. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the projects we're working on right now. We understand that the state of Florida, at least the Department of Agriculture, their farming, uh, as far as the farming side, they're losing a lot of money. They're losing a lot of money to the, uh, to the folks down in South America, the economy the way there is. So just last, about last month, we were talking to the Deputy Commissioner of Agriculture and he wants to bring a lot of homegrown feedstock right here to the state. They got to find another methodology as far as biomass production of, uh, as far as a crop. So we want to help with that. We've been talking to the uh, Florida Biofuel Association, and together we're going to joint venture to be able to bring algae production systems as well as uh, other feedstocks such as the hong tree that uh, we might talk about a little later on to Florida. Uh, they're the grant writers, we have the equipment, we have the project management experience, et cetera. In addition, we, uh, we got a patent pending on a jet fuel uh, from algae, it's a dry based product. And I'm not going to go too much more into that. We're going to be submitting it to you folks, the SIC folks here, hopefully within the next week. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this Force for Earth, and I'm going to hand it back over to, uh, hand it back over to uh, Victor. This product was recently uh, recently uh, reformulated by a company called Axiom Labs. Axiom, they are the, probably the one, number one chromatology lab in the country. They do work for every single pharmaceutical firm in the United States. But they work for they, their clients for every single uh, department, federal agency, the DEA, the CIA, the FBI, CDC, Homeland Security. Okay, it'll increase your mileage seven to nineteen percent decrease emissions 30%, even as much as 100% or more, okay? It's a green product. It's a green product. It's, it's extra base. It's all mineral base. It's not your normal additives because most additives are all petroleum-based products. This is all extra base. Esters are what comes in soaps, uh, beer, okay, polyester clothing, okay? It has a lubricating ester and a cleansing ester. You only use one ounce per 10 gallons of fuel and one ounce per quart of oil in the crankcase. The lubricating ester, the correction, the, the cleansing ester is basically clean your engine out, okay, and the uh, fuel system, the lubricating esters lubricate the engine parts, okay, and what it does is it actually brings your engine back to manufacturer specifications. You can use it in any sort of internal combustion engine. Cars, boats, motorcycles, RVs, weed whackers, lawnmowers, Humvees, okay? It could work with gas, biodiesel, diesel, methanol, ethanol. On the bottom, you can see the, uh, the Unser family have fully endorsed the product, okay? These are $100,000 engines. If you know anything about the Indianapolis 500 where Danica Patrick drives in, right under that is the Indy Light Series. The Indy Light Series, Al Unser the third is one who drives that car right there, okay? The whole Indy Light Series saw what Force was doing for the Unser family, so they decided to do their own testing on it. And they made it the official fuel reformulator for the entire Indy Light Series. That's pretty huge. Many years ago, there was a driver called Mario Andretti, and he, and he also promoted a product called STP, and he's the way it took that company. Uh, 
uh, we're able to, uh, there are a number of people out there testing the product right now and using the product. What we want to do is we want to be able to give it to two different entities, okay, only two, for a trial basis. One, you folks, the Air Force, okay. Uh, we have an opacity meter that we will actually bring up one of our commercial guys. It will start the testing on a fleet of your vehicles, whether it be 10 or 20 for a certain period of time. We'll check the opacity meter. I mean, it's going to be, the metrics are all going to be there. And we'll see what it looks like over the next two or three months. And any other school board, uh, city municipality, anybody who has a large fleet of trucks or vehicles or diesel vehicles will be able to do the same thing for them also. Questions on that? Okay. <clears throat> Getting back to the algae and the uh, biofuels, okay. In a few short years, what we're going to be hearing is the farmers, what they're going to be saying is when they see a stranger come in, they're going to say, algae, stranger. Trying to practice that all night long. <laughs> Just, I had to Maybe that was it. That was why. It's a green card, Navy guy. <laughs>